President Biden has unveiled his multi-trillion dollar infrastructure bill. Does it contain the infamous $200 per month raise for Social Security, SSI, and VA beneficiaries that all of us have anxiously been awaiting? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video, so let's get right into it. But hey everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you haven't done so, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as this channel is your one-stop shop for the most honest, accurate, and transparent information for everything that you want to know right now regarding Social Security, SSI, stimulus, stimulus checks, the child tax credit, food assistance, nutrition assistance, utility assistance, rental assistance, basically everything you want to know going on right now, I've got you and I am here for you as your daily advocate every single day. I promise you I will deliver, so thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. So as all of us know, President Biden just recently unveiled portion one of his two portion or two part, I should say, two part infrastructure package. Now, this first portion is focused strictly on infrastructure, as we think. However, the second portion will be unveiled to us here in the coming weeks. I've had a bunch of people re reaching out to me lately asking, hey, Matt, I'm seeing some headlines talking about this $200 raise being included in the infrastructure package. Is it actually there? Or, hey, Matt, I've seen some other YouTube videos here talking about the $200 that it's included. Is it actually included? Can you give us some clarity? We trust you. Well, hey, thank you so much to all of you. I really do appreciate it. And like I always say, I will give you the most honest, accurate, and transparent information every single day. So let's get into this. First off, let's better understand what is actually included within this first portion of the infrastructure bill to better understand, hey, what does it actually include? Let's buzz through this really quickly, and then we will hit on this $200 per month raise. All right, so the bill contains $621 billion allocated for transportation, roads, bridges, airports, and uh, what else? Public transportation, we'll call it, okay? There's $300 billion allocated for restoration of drinking water and expanding the energy grid. There's an additional $300 billion allocated for affordable housing and um, broadband internet access for rural areas. On top of that, there's an additional $580 billion allocated for American manufacturing. On top of that, there is $400 billion allocated for the elderly and disabled. <gasps> OMG, did he include it? I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. <laughs> I do know. I, I didn't mean to say I don't know. I do know. Here's the deal. When I saw that headline, I thought, oh, wow, he included it. $400 billion. There it is for the elderly and disabled. And I think this is where a lot of the confusion is coming in. Let's read further into what this headline actually says. $400 billion allocated for the elderly and disabled to account for affordable home care and community care. Yeah, as we read through it, there's not a single mention of the $200 per month raise for Social Security, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. However, when I read that and I saw elderly and disabled, I thought, there it is, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. It encompasses all my people. <sighs> no. Nope, it's not there. Sorry. It is not there. So, I've seen there's a bunch of headlines floating around out in the world. I've seen other videos here, title it, and uh, top people talking about this, that it's included. No, it's not included in this first portion of the bill. Even though this first portion of this infrastructure bill is about two and a half trillion dollars, it's not in there. Now, the second portion of this infrastructure bill is expected to be released in the next couple weeks here. Here's the deal though. The first portion of this bill is focused on infrastructure, as we just noted, right? Mostly infrastructure, we can kind of give them that. But the second portion of the bill is mostly focused on social programs. So that is where we could potentially see the $200 per month raise for Social Security, SSI, and VA beneficiaries come into play. Now, here's another thing that would be a little bit confusing to me. If they implemented it, 
in the second portion of the bill. Realistically, by the time they release it and by the time they get through this first one, negotiate it out, hammer it through Congress, get it passed, and then start working on the second portion, we're going to be talking about like, I don't know, August, September, maybe even October by the time they get to that. It's going to be a long time at the speed that they move, right? They, they move incredibly slow and it's the second portion. So, if they implemented the $200 per month raise at that point, I feel like there would only be a handful of months left in 2021 where all of these beneficiaries would get that money. So then that would make me think, are you going to offer some kind of back pay, retroactive pay back to the beginning of the year? Are you going to extend it out maybe through 2022? Like, what's the plan here? Seriously, like, give me the plan. I, I, I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to go for like this 2021 business anymore because at that point, it would only result in maybe six or eight hundred dollars because of the lack of months left in the year. However, as we do know, uh, I mentioned this in one of my videos recently over the last couple of days here, talking about these uh, recurring stimulus checks that are potentially going to be appearing in the next infrastructure bill as well. What we know about that is many people are proposing a one time. $2,000 stimulus check one time, and then $1,000 recurring every single month thereafter until the current situation that we are in is over for a year after that. Makes sense? So I guess my take on this whole thing is the $200 per month raise, you know, sounds great, but realistically, if we look at the stimulus check, like number stimulus check number four, or potentially recurring stimulus checks at a rate of $2,000 one time, and then $1,000 per month going on for a year after the, the situation ends, I'd feel like, hey, we would be way far ahead of the game if we went that route versus focusing on the $200 per month raise. Get what I'm saying? Let's focus on the big numbers. Let's go big and uh, think about those. So that's kind of where we stand as of now. I'm really interested to see what President Biden includes in this second portion of the infrastructure package. Will it be in there? I have no clue. I'm just being totally, being totally real with you. I honestly have no clue if it's going to be included in the second portion of the bill. It could. Or is something even better going to be in there like a fourth stimulus check of two grand, maybe even a fourth stimulus check plus recurring stimulus checks. We have over 60 um, Democratic lawmakers in the House and Senate that are all coming together and focusing on these recurring stimulus checks. I don't know. There's just a lot cooking right now. But one thing I do know, one thing that's not cooking is the $200 raise. I'm honestly not seeing it anywhere other than a few posts here and videos on YouTube of uh, people talking about it and, you know, throwing out their promises that it's coming. Let me rest assured. Let me tell you, I am not promising that it's coming. In fact, to be totally honest with you, I honestly don't think the $200 is going to come. I think we have a much higher likelihood of getting a fourth stimulus check and or recurring stimulus checks uh, over getting a $200 raise. I'm just being totally real with you. As I always say, I will be honest with you at all times. I'll be accurate and I'll be completely transparent. This is me being honest and transparent. I think the $200 raise thing was, um, was a fun dream at the time. It was a fun proposal. It was something cool that was brought up back in the day about a year ago. And uh, they played around with it for a while and uh, it just, it never got any traction, right? That's my honest opinion on it. I, I honestly don't think they're going to implement it. I really don't. I think we need to focus on stimulus check number four and or recurring stimulus checks going forward. Plus, we're going to be way further ahead of the game if we get that versus the $200. Unless, unless they give the $200 per month raise with retroactive pay back to the beginning of the year or back a few months, plus stimulus check number four and or recurring stimulus checks at that point, then we'd be rolling in the dough, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to address this because a lot of people have been reaching out to me asking, can you give us an update on the 200? I've been hearing about a lot about it lately. Can you give us an update? We trust you. We trust your research. We trust your input. Can you tell us? This is my honest opinion. This is what my analysis shows. This is what my research shows. And this is my opinion. So anyway, I hope that you can respect me for this. I'm just being totally real with you. I want to be honest with you at all times. And I want to give you my best analysis based on the research and all of the information I have at my disposal. Again, 
I'm here to help you in any way that I possibly can. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video if you haven't done so already. Share this video with your friends, family, or social media, and stay tuned as I will keep you posted every single day with stimulus updates and everything else going on right now. Plus, over the coming weeks here, when we get that final uh, unveilment, is that even a word, unveilment? I guess it could be. Sure, we're gonna go with it. Yeah, anyway. Um, we're going to look for that, uh, for, for President Biden to unveil his, uh, the second portion of that, that infrastructure bill here over the coming weeks. Good stuff. I'm excited to see what's in it because we know that's going to be focused around social programs. In other words, a lot of free money. Anyway, I'll see you later. Have a nice day, everybody. I hope this helps you. And um, unveilment. I'm going to go check that one out. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. All right. Anyway, I'll get you later. Got to turn this thing off now. Embarrassing myself. I'm getting all hot and sweaty now. All right. Anyway, I'll catch you later, everybody. You're awesome. Thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you here again.